So in this video, we are going to use a silk cloth to help us understand how important to the final look is mesh resolution and some other aspects of the simulation. Here we have a 150,000 quad cloth and some general parameter settings that you can find in the carbon cloth preset table. Check that out in the carbon support forum. So in addition to setting the usual stretch, bend, etc. settings, there are five important aspects to a good cloth simulation behavior. The first is the resolution of the cloth. Here in this scene, we have a polygon edge length of about eight millimeters, which you will see for a silky cloth, that's too big. But it's a good place to start to help us understand the role resolution plays in the final look. The second aspect that's really important, especially for a light cloth such as silk, is the cloth interaction with air. Cloth will not drape believably without interacting with the still air around it. To enable this, we need to include a carbon flow node in our scene. We are not setting any flow parameters on the flow node, but we still need to have it in the scene. We also need to give our cloth some aerodynamic properties. And here we have set the form and the skin drag to 0.2. The third aspect that's very important is friction. Being a silky cloth, we are expecting it to glide over the sofa effortlessly. So we need to give it a low friction to enable that. In carbon, when two objects interact, the lowest friction object prevails. Here we have set a static friction of 0.1 and a dynamic friction of 0.05. Next, we need to match the subdivisions the solver is going to use per frame to handle collision tests to the thickness of the cloth and the speed of the cloth movement. This cloth is very thin as it's silk. With a scene scale of one, which is one meter per mile unit, a thickness of 0 0.0002 is 0 0.2 millimeters. So with something this thin, we need a reasonable number of subdivisions per frame to avoid collision penetration issues. And we are going to use 50. Finally, we need to match the solver iterations per subdivision to the size of the problem. This is 150,000 quad cloth, and that's a pretty big network to converge. But also we are simulating a soft cloth, so we don't need to go crazy with the iterations. In fact, because we have 50 subdivisions, we can probably stick with 10 iterations per subdivision. That will still give us 500 iterations per frame. Now let's have a look at a play blast of this scene. So here we can see the cloth gliding over the sofa in a very silky manner. It's clearly thin and it's taking the shape of the sofa as it glides. But these resulting folds are pretty big and that's a consequence of the polygon edge length. So now let's have a look at some smaller edge lengths. First, just a bit smaller at six millimeters. As you can see, the folds are still pretty big. And now three millimeters. As you can see, the folds are still pretty big. And finally, 1.5 millimeters per polygon edge. And now we can see the folds more like we would expect from a silky cloth. Obviously, there are many types of silk, each with a different behavior. But hopefully this video gives you some knowledge to help you tune up your carbon sim to match your reference material. Thank you for watching.